what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel welcome to Donnie exiting the city of Bucharest and in case you don't know Donnie is my little scooter my Symphony ST200 which I just did a full 40,000 kilometer service on and what better way to test my own handiwork than just take it on a long distance trip now it's not all that long we only got 200 kilometers to get to our destination and I've done longer distances way longer distances on him than just 200 kilometers but this was the first time I actually opened up the transmission and put it back together by myself I did do it before by myself but it was always when the guys the techs that we have at work were near me and they were supervising me so I could always ask for help and they could always catch if I made a mistake in my previous video or actually two videos ago I basically did the 40,000 kilometer service with the belt uh, with the transmission service oils and everything by myself without any form of supervision so if I mess something up then this is how we're gonna find out if I get stranded on the side of the road that means I messed up something but I have ridden him for about three days uh, or actually no a complete week uh, to work and back that's about a hundred kilometers 20 kilometers every day and he ran just fine so uh, I guess we're gonna give it a try it's still early October holy moly and and uh, yeah the weather is nice it's almost 30 degrees outside which is amazing for early October so why not go on a bit of a road trip it's the weekend I ain't got anything else to do I'm going on a road trip to see one of the latest infrastructural constructions in Romania and it's something that we are actually quite proud of it's a ginormous bridge over the Danube but we'll talk about we'll talk more about the bridge when we get there for now I'm just cruising 95 kilometers an hour slow and steady wins the race you know what they say this is how Donnie carried me for 40,000 kilometers carried me all over Europe and Eurasia last year I did 10 countries on him like this and it's perfectly fine he's running absolutely beautiful even with let's see how much 40,615 kilometers on the dash you probably can't see too well in the dash the Sun is right behind me and uh, yeah if I scoot like this you can probably can so I can cast a shadow on the dash but otherwise I can make out the speed that's no problem I have the speed on my GPS right here which says we're doing 88 kilometers an hour I know the dash lies by about 9 or 10 kilometers an hour again no biggie now before we get any further uh, I'm starting to run low on fuel 180 clicks on this tank so uh, there should be a fuel station right up ahead as we're entering another little city and this is where we're gonna get off the main road we still got about 150 kilometers to go but I need some fuel because servicing Donny didn't fix the fact that the, the fuel tank is still only 7 liters <laughs> yeah I don't know how I'm gonna fix that get a bit of, a little bit more range out of him but I guess that's the only caveat and I really don't want to change them for an ADX we've been together through a lot and we got history we got 40,000 kilometers my ass has been on this seat for 40,000 kilometers but yeah let's fill them up and then hit the road again now that fuel is paid up quick visual inspection transmission oil nothing under the scoot everything seems fine 50 kilometers down another 150 to go let us make haste <laughs> quickly now Donnie doesn't stick around onwards to new horizons as per usual when we're on a relaxing ride I decided to skip 
the big roads the national roads and the highways and just take the scenic back roads now we're not going through the mountains so don't expect to see anything else but you know sometimes riding the plains can be so relaxing because it's easy it's not like mountain switchbacks and the geography might not be impressive in the way that mountains are but there's something very beautiful especially this middle autumn period when the leaves are starting to turn red or golden harvest is done all the food has been harvested from the fields everything is just so quiet and relaxed and I don't know it's something very calming about uh, such a scenery you still have to take care for all the farm implements and farm vehicles on the road but they're easily manageable and sometimes country roads as you can see here are extremely smooth there's just something about riding the plains just just the view the fact that you can see so far over the horizon and it's all flat but yet full of vegetation full of life full of wonders of the world absolutely gorgeous it's always nice to get out for a ride always nice to twist the throttle and go we are dealing with a pretty gnarly wind if you can see the trees and uh, it is slowing our progress down a little bit now the wind is a side wind but uh, i know some people ask me with a big screen like this is side wind or strong wind in general a big problem and honestly i don't feel it i think the biggest problem of riding something like this on long distance and especially in autumn in the plains when where it's very windy is the fact that it's very light and side winds move you around not because of this but because the entire vehicle is very light i've learned this comparing this little scooter to my gs my gs is three times heavier than this is and it it doesn't feel any kind of wind side wind front wind back wind it doesn't you don't feel you just look at the trees and go like oh it's a little bit windy today but you don't you don't actually feel it you don't feel it pushing pushing you around or at least i haven't experienced strong enough wind to feel it pushing me around but on this thing it does push you around but the good part is it's not a problem you just let the scooter move around a little bit on the lane then you're perfectly fine you don't have to think about keeping it on the straight and narrow it will go in a straight line but it might wobble a little bit as the wind blows you but it's not it's nothing terrifying like i'm riding one-handed and the wind is pretty strong and it is shaking me just a little bit but it's not a big problem again ride what you have and experience life enjoy the beauty of nature enjoy the beauty of the road and enjoy the mental health benefits of riding i did hear a couple of people saying that they want a two-wheel vehicle just to get around town because the city is congested and they need something to get to work and back and when i tell them yeah you know but you're gonna want to ride also in the weekends and no 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 no. i just want something to go to work and back i don't like motorcycles i'm not interested in anything it's not about being interested in motorcycles it's the sense of freedom this gives you the the sense of connection to the real world and to the environment through which you're riding i don't know it's it's hard to explain if you've never experienced it it's nigh on impossible to explain but once you experience it for the first time you understand it's a feeling that no other vehicle can give you and this is coming from a guy who 
I wasn't raised around motorcycles. I wasn't raised around motorcycles. Uh, in my family, only one of my grandfathers rode the motorcycle when he was a little bit younger. So I never got to see him riding a motorcycle. My first experience on a motorcycle was when I was almost 30 years old when a colleague from work from my then job put me on the back of his bike and just uh, drove me around for like a kilometer. That was it. And I felt something then. I didn't go get my license then, but something changed then. And then through the years, things changed in my life and I got a scooter, I started working with it, then I got my motorcycle license and I got motorcycle, this scooter, which is a bigger engine and you need a motorcycle license for it. And my life completely changed in the past four years of riding motorcycles to the point at which currently I do not own a, or actually I do own a four-wheeled vehicle, but it's, uh, it's pretty badly damaged and it's undrivable. So, and I have no plans of fixing it. So you can say I do not own a four-wheeled vehicle. I ride everywhere. And it's such a wonderful feeling to just ride, 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 and ride. I've, I have over a hundred thousand kilometers in about three years of having my license, or four years? No, 2020. I got my license in 2020. So three and a bit years of having my motorcycle license, and it's. I'm still not bored of it, over a hundred thousand kilometers and I still want more. I'm still eager for the next trip. I'm still eager for the next adventure. I don't know if it's ever gonna fade. There's just something about it. You have to try it. You have to try it for yourself. Before you say it's not for you, try it. Try a first road trip. Go somewhere you've always wanted to go. Get on the back of your scooter or motorcycle and just go there. No matter what you have, even a, even a 50cc. I did road trips on 50ccs. 500, 600 kilometer road trips on 50ccs. Just go and experience. Believe me, yes, the speed is lower, but the experience is the same. This, this contact with nature, with everything around you with the reality of the world around you is the same whether you're riding a big touring bike or a 50cc scooter once you get out of the city once you get into the countryside it's the same feeling it actually makes me feel just a little bit sad that we're just an hour and a half into this ride and i'm already at the halfway point so only another hour and a half but the good part is, I'm gonna have to ride back another 200 kilometers. And although I am happy on this trip, I'm also very enthusiastic for the ride back. And then for the next ride and next ride and next ride. Who knows where my two-wheeled machines will carry me? Who knows where I get the idea to travel? Or sometimes, you know what? You just get on the back of the bike point it out of the city and just explore see what you can find out there see what you can smell see what you can feel see what nature has to offer well we're getting close now actually we've just passed it we were supposed to make a left a right turn back there quickly turn it around what the hell i do not i do not remember that Don't you, Danny? Were we supposed to make a left turn there? Let's see. Where is this road taking me? Well, this is something new. <laughs> Easy does it. I have no idea where I am or if I am supposed to be here. But I'm not stopping to find out. I have my destination on my GPS. GPS says this is the way to my destination. And uh, we're going to listen to it. Always trust your equipment. That's what I found about GPS. Sometimes the biggest mistakes you make with GPS is when you think you know better. Trust the thing. Trust the machine. Now, do use common sense. I mean, don't go riding your motorcycle into a river. But 
most of the times you have to trust your equipment that it will get you to the destination especially google is pretty pretty good now that does doesn't mean it doesn't mess up every now and then it sure as hell does but most of the times like 99 percent of the time is it's perfectly accurate and it really does get you to your destination rather quickly currently i was expecting to see some kind of dual carriageway or highway or something like that but we're 20 kilometers away from our destination and all i'm seeing is a small little village and a little village road so i'm guessing this is some kind of shortcut it's a pretty it's a very pretty shortcut but wasn't expecting it now what what am i riding to see why did i ride 200 kilometers to the danube river to see well a couple of months ago a bridge opened up but it's not any old bridge it's something i'm actually as a romanian i'm actually quite proud because it's the third largest suspension bridge in europe it was finished in about five years i think it cost half a billion dollars the the total length of the bridge is about 2.2 kilometers and it's over the danube it's the only bridge over the maritime part of the danube that means that the danube is so wide and so big that even uh, even ships that usually go out to sea can fit uh, under it the height of the bridge from the water to the deckway is about 38 meters so the clearance of the bridge is about 38 meters and i think the and there it is i don't know if you can see it right over there and the height of the towers is almost 200 meters but it, it does make me proud uh, as a native romanian we do have very very bad infrastructure in most places but seeing something as stupendously ginormous and complicated as this being built here it, it does make me proud and i really wanted to go see it and to go experience and why don't i take you guys along for the ride i mean I'm going anyway, we might as well just turn the camera on and show you. About 15 kilometers left to go and you can see it right over there. Stupendously impressive. Let's see if we can get a better look. So, bridge closed only at night, from Monday to Friday at night. Perfect. There it is. There's the bridge. Sheesh, that's large. Let me close this man that's large that's bloody ginormous the gopro definitely doesn't do it justice but it's bloody ginormous there's still a couple of cranes left I, from what i read they're still working a little bit on a couple of things but dude that's huge and yes we can ride over it now a problem i am seeing and i did allude to it earlier i did take my little scooter to ride over a bridge a suspension bridge in midair on on a very very bloody windy day and it is very very windy today i have no idea how how bad the wind is gonna be on the bridge but here it it's decently windy but we're gonna see but man oh man is it ever large and and tall and impressive you can see the roadway and it's above the trees the trees that are on the side of the danube it just goes right above them it dwarfs them and those are big trees yeah i think we're yeah this is the entrance to the bridge currently for now and for the next five years from what i understand passage is gonna be free and after five years there's gonna be a tax to ride on the bridge or to drive on the bridge but currently it's free so why not experience it again the joy of motorcycling just do something for the heck of it normally i have no business crossing this bridge i'm just gonna cross it and then cross back but these are the joys of motorcycling find something interesting you want to see get on your bike and hit the road you'll enjoy the trip there and then you get to enjoy whatever it is 
you were wanting to see. For me, it's this bloody, bloody ginormous bridge. I don't know what's the speed limit on the bridge. I think it's about 80 kilometers an hour, so we're just gonna keep it at a leisurely 80. Looking at the flags, the wind is, uh, it doesn't look all that bad. Let me open my... It is quite a bit of a climb to get up on the deck. And then we're gonna cross the middle point and go downhill, but man, check it out. That is absolutely huge. Unfortunately, this is a walkway, but we cannot walk on it yet. It's not open to the public to walk. But man, and that is the Danube. The widest bridge over the Danube, or at least the bridge that's in the that's built in the widest point to up to this point. There's there are no more there are no other bridges further downstream. This is it. This is the last bridge on the Danube, and from here over there it goes into the Danube Delta and goes straight into the Black Sea. And check out the mountains over there. Man, what a sight, what a sight. Absolutely gorgeous. And the second tower. Yep, definitely makes me feel proud. Definitely makes me feel proud. And up ahead is the region of Dobroja with its very old mountains, the mountains of Machin. From what I know, these are prehistoric mountains. They're like, they're only four or 500 meters in altitude, but they used to be a lot taller. They're, they're still called mountains. They're not called hills. Because although they are as tall as hills, they used to be a lot taller. So people still refer to them as mountains. And that's it. That is the bridge. We've crossed over it. Beautiful sight. Absolutely gorgeous. Now hopefully this video inspires you to just go out and ride to any old destination. Just go out, have a bit of fun, enjoy the ride, enjoy life, enjoy yourself. Until next time guys, take care out there and ride safe. Goodbye.